Hey everyone, today we'll be talking with Hamad Abbasi, who landed his first tech product management role with Animoto. Stay tuned for more. Ahmad, thank you so much for taking the time to, you know, share your your learnings and your experience with everybody who's watching today. Of course, sure. It's my pleasure. Amazing. So, Ahmad, uh, before we go on, tell us a bit about a, a bit about yourself. Sure. So, my name is Ahmad. I am currently based in Chicago, and uh, I came from a from a very different background that typically people think of uh, when they when they think about like you know product managers and also. I switched career a lot in my in the past, so I, I I was trained as as a data scientist in my in my grad school. I did PhD in technology management, and then when I when I started my career as a data scientist, ten months in, and I I, I clearly realized that that's not that's not something for me. Um, um, I I didn't want myself sitting you know behind the computer and writing codes all day, so or, or building mm-hmm. models. So that's where I I found that you know what what comes naturally to me, and um, you know what 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 are the stuff that i really like doing so that's where i did some some self introspection and i think at the same time um i i found out about uh, the product management career path and all and and, uh, and then I, I i spoke to my manager you know tried to um, switch to the product management piece internally and yeah. and uh, absolutely loved it so so yeah so then i i switched into product um, i started from a cpg uh, industry uh, i worked uh, for craft times for a couple of years uh, before uh, moving to this series C startup in the video space, uh, where I'm working as right now as a senior product manager. Yeah, that's amazing, and and you know, I, I loved your journey. A lot of the time, there's misconceptions that hey, you have to come from this background, you have to be a software engineer before you become a product manager. So it's it's great to see all the different backgrounds that people come from. Yours was definitely unique, Hamad. So I, I'm I'm going to take you back to. You know, when um, w- uh, when we spoke about uh, the intentional job search program that you were a part of, what uh, what was going on in whether your search or just in your life that led you to seek out a solution? Yeah, um, so um, I think uh, as I just mentioned in my previous answer about self introspection, so uh, it's a uh, it's pretty funny. I don't know if I shared that before with you, but. When I was doing that, I was following, uh, uh, you know, people on LinkedIn and kind of like looking into the content. And you know, every single time when you post something on LinkedIn, and it kind of like resonate to where exactly I am and what exactly I'm feeling. And and um, and um, and it, it was just like this inner urge of like, um, you know, finding uh, you know something where where I feel like I'm doing some meaningful work and creating the impact uh, to satisfy my you know, um, my uh, curiosity or soul, whatever you call it, mm-hmm. or my desire to, to create impact. So, um, so yeah, like, so it's, it started from there. And then, um, of course, there are certain people, you know, close to me that I, that I really value their opinion. Mm-hmm. So I, I spoke to them as well, and um, they provided their, their feedback as well. So I think it was more about like, uh, you know, listening to your inner core and then kind of like finding validation from external people or the people that are close to you. Uh, so that was the first step, and once I I I, I, I was kind of like clear that yeah you know uh, change is inevitable and I have to like go out and explore. Then the next phase was more sort of like a discovery process, like okay like now if I want a product management like where I should go and you know from where I should start and and I'm a big believer of like finding mentors. Um, I had a lot you know some some amazing mentors in the past in my life as well. So. Uh, that's where I, you know, the search began, and then I kept looking at your post, and and um, you know, as I as I as I was engaging with the content, I I, I kind of like found that, um, you know, this guy knows what he's doing, and you know, what are some of the pain points that people, you know, um, in this particular job searching process, uh, you know, go through. So, so yeah, so, uh, so then I like you know started uh, uh, decided to reach out to you, and then uh, you know we connected, and the rest is history. So. Uh, it's uh, it was it was it was a pretty uh, ambiguous process in the beginning, but then mm-hmm. I think once I once I knew internally that this is what I want, then I think it it becomes more of a matter of like you know a determination and grit to get it done. So totally. um, that's my journey. You you brought up a very important point, Hamad, which is 
you know, like before looking for answers, start listening for answers. And, you know, there's always that decision that, okay, this is the path for me. I want to get this job no matter what. And then, you know, which program you take and which path, which mentor you go with, that's a secondary decision. So you had made that decision and then everything else followed from there. Um, so you started in the, in the intentional job search program. Like, I'm curious to hear what were the first few surprises or victories that that happened for you early on i think the the two thing that that, that i that uh, that i immediately observed uh, when i joined the program is uh, is there was like a pretty structured process to the things that we usually think you know uh, that we don't need any process for that like you know uh, for example writing down those stories and all like yeah like i heard about taking notes and all but giving a lot of, you know, emphasis on like writing the stories, crafting your stories, you know, do a lot of revision and all. There was this, this, this process involved, right? So, mm. so I really like that aspect of like breaking down even small pieces into, into different components and there were different iterations on that. So that detail that goes in and, and of course, you know, this brilliant work uh, done by um, uh, Sam in, in, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the onboarding process was, was, was amazing. So I think process was there for sure. I think the second piece that I that I um, that uh, that that really surprised me is the uh, is the community aspect. Um, you know, from from the mentor or the coach to the people like the, the peers that you find there. Um, you know, like the way we celebrate like small wins and even on like uh, on our weekly connect and all. Like <clears throat> I think there was this this the sense of like community uh, appreciation and encouragement, which which makes a huge difference, especially when you're self doubting yourself that whether or not I'm good enough, you know, for that particular job. So I think that was the, those were the two things that that that, that really um, kind of like validate my decision to to join the program. And then it brings more and more excitement and uh, more energy, uh, especially for me, because I get energy from people uh, and, and, the, and the positive uh, vibes around me. So so, yeah, that uh, that that start uh, went really well because of those two factors. Yeah, that, and especially that that second observation you shared about the community. I mean, it's like for me, whenever I, I join a call, it's it's like I want to be there because these are just these amazing people who I've been working with, helping, learning from them. And I don't know if you felt the same way, but then you know, it's all, it's energizing to go into that rather than you know you go into some meetings and you're just like ah, i'm exhausted and uh, I've, I've definitely seen a, a correlation just like you uh, with people who showed up to these group conversations the energy they had the results they got the kind of questions they asked like all the all those were 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 totally related so uh by the way inside a joke you know i've I would always, Hamad always had almost the most questions in these group calls, and I would always say, Hamad, you have questions, I'm surprised. So, so that was always a thing that was going on. So, so, so tell us then, you know, what was your ultimate win? Where did you end up? Uh, tell us more a bit about the journey that, that got you there and what were like some of the differentiators or things that really helped you land that job? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like, you know, as a, as a product manager, you, you spend a lot of time like understanding, you know, this, this customer funnel. So I think job searching is exactly like that. Uh, so when I started, you know, no interviews whatsoever in the beginning and then gradually, like, you know, when I, when I kept preparing my story, then like, you know, the way I was outreaching on LinkedIn and based on what, what I learned throughout the program, it, 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 it kind of like, you know, uh, reflects in terms of like the numbers. So, from no interviews at all to getting you know so many interviews to a point that you know it's pretty hard for you to like manage uh, your calendar and then um like just fixing the the linkedin profile makes a lot of difference as well people reach out to you by themselves so so i think that was the first win um that you know at least i was getting an interview um then the second one was like okay now i get the interview like you know what should i do to go to the next round so then again, like a lot of rejection on the, on the, you know, from, from round one to round two. Uh, then, you know, there was a lot of uh, like uh, uh, moments uh, in between where you feel like, damn, it seems like I'm like, I'm not good enough for, for this. This is, hmm. this is so, so, so tough and, and challenging, right? So that's where, again, that community piece comes in, you know, people, coaches come in and they kind of like push you and motivate you to do that. And, and you know, um, 
make you believe that yeah you you know you are you're good enough to do that and of course like, there's a vetting process involved in 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 IGS on IGS end as well which you know where they you know selectively uh, pick pick candidate so then like from interview first interview to second interview then okay how many times I should get uh like to what occur i'm getting like the loop interview so i think the most difficult phase for me was converting the loop interview and, I, and, I, and you know pretty well i have like tons and tons of loop interviews uh, some of them were like so brutal to a point that i literally got rejection and you know 15 minutes right after the final interview after spending four and a half hour so it it, it hits you hard it hits you differently uh depending on you know uh, where you are in that stage um so so then, yeah, then after that, I think uh, uh, I still remember when I was uh, having a lot of failure on the loop interviews, I, I I circled back with you, we connected. There were certain questions where I felt like I was not performing well, especially interacting with engineers and how I, how do I work with engineers and all that stuff. So um, so I think those those slight, you know, those pointers, uh, those direction insights really helps uh, you to, to kind of like fine tune your stories. So uh, eventually, uh, a long story short, like I was able to, land uh, um, uh, two, two different job offers. Uh, and then, of course, I stopped interviewing because um, I already decided to accept one of the two offers. So when I when I initially joined the program, I was I my goal was to join one of the fan companies. But then as I as I goes into the program and I found out several different startups uh, and, and, and other uh, companies, which is small, but you can join them, you can excel your career, you can grow with them. Um, and you can learn, you know, the, the the art and craft of product management. So I think that kind of like changed my mindset, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it enabled me to be open to to startups uh, opportunities as well. So so yeah, like uh, you know, got two offers, uh, and then finally uh, decided uh, to take this 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 offer um, at Animoto, where I'm working right now, just purely based on the way I was I, I was treated throughout the interview process. No, that th you brought up a really excellent point here where sometimes people are too attracted to, hey, I got to work for Facebook, Amazon, Google. And, you know, my experience, it was amazing. But and at some point in your career, that's probably a great thing to do. But it doesn't mean it's the right thing for you to do right now. While especially as you're new in product management, having the right manager, the right mentor, the right kind of environment where you can grow and learn quickly that's probably the most important and, and seems like something you're getting at animodo mm -hmm. amazing so I, I i loved your victories i loved the multiple offers uh, and and the entire process any any surprises for you as you were, went through the whole things um i um so i think before getting an offer my understanding of like uh, the secret sauce to land an offer was that you need to know every single thing to, mm -hmm. to land a job. Yes. And to my surprise, I think the number one thing that I noticed, even if you don't know much about a uh, product management career and all is that how, how, how confident and assertive you come across, mm. um, you know, in, in the interviews. And, uh, and I think after getting an offer for, from my you know current manager and I asked him and he was like, I absolutely love that. You know, you, you, you had that, you know, just do it attitude um and and that kind of like reflects as well so so i think uh, uh for me that was the biggest surprise and biggest learning as well because uh, the job searching process you know, didn't end on this one job right because it, it's a it's a lifelong uh, life a career long uh, skill you know that you need uh to to really understand how how to interact with different stakeholders people in general life and then um what what they are seeking or what they are looking for and how can you can portray or mold yourself a bit uh, in order to get uh, or get, in order to uh, succeed in the, in the job interview setting, so so I think confidence slash assertiveness uh, was the number one for me, and and I know I think I it would be it wouldn't be wrong if I say that uh, because of that I I was actually able to land the job, not just not not only because I I knew about in and out about the product management. If, totally. if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that that's an amazing point. I, I I think you also mentioned earlier like about telling your story, so it's combination of both like you know it's not so much about what you know but how you tell your story and how confident you come across how likable you you come across all those things make a massive massive difference in landing the job yeah but, but one other point i want to add is that stories are for example if, if they are like mostly scenario based or behavioral questions you know that that you can use but i think where this uh 
the confidence or assertiveness piece comes is is uh, there is a lot of question that i came across where i had zero story prepared and it was all about your own self reflection on things right mm -hmm. so yes communication is absolutely important even there but then how confidently you are you are actually expressing your opinions and uh, the people on the other side knows that it's a pretty tricky question so like i think those do, and those are the questions that comes later in the in the in the interview process you know right. people call it a like cultural fit or whatever but uh, you like yeah so so that's where i think this this confidence speed or or the assertiveness speed that i was mentioning mentioning earlier at least it worked really well for me um, you know in those in, in, during those circumstances agreed you can never be 100% prepared but with the right amount of confidence and ability to tell the story you can you can crack anything awesome so let me ask you one last question you know just like you were in this boat a while ago where you're following me on linkedin and watching some videos there's probably a lot of people who watch this video who are in the same boat so what would you what message would you give to them yeah i mean uh, i think for me um based on my own experience and all um you know you need to be clear uh, that yeah you know you you want to to land a product management job and do your research before even you know joining any specific program mm -hmm. um uh, because it's it's not a magic wand like you need to put you know the hard yard and you need to put you know uh, effort and you know to deal with failures um and it can be it can be a, a pretty complicated complex process as well it becomes easier if you if you're joining you know uh, you know any of these programs like where you find uh, the right mentors so i think um, um this program is not for somebody who who just want to join the program and they think that you know they can sit down relax you know watch netflix and you know in, within a time times a time span of like 3 4 months they will get uh, the job no it's it's not it's not like that you need to document every single thing the way you're progressing you need to uh, share it with the the broader community uh, and you need to be most importantly you need to be honest with yourself where exactly you are um, so so i think uh, those are the things that 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 are pretty critical but once you make your mind that yeah product management is for you or even if you just want to you know test the water like hey like i just want to get one job and see if it if that's the career is for me uh you know in any of those scenarios um uh, you know i would i would highly recommend to to uh, to go for mentors find mentors uh, so that you can you can expedite this this uh, job landing process and learning more about the product management as a career totally and i agree with you if you going to sit back and watch netflix we can't help you but if you want to go work for netflix and willing to do the work <laughs> then we definitely can help you love it <laughs> amat yeah. thank you so much for sharing your experience congratulations again on this awesome job looking forward to continuing our work together after this as well and and thanks again yeah likewise sir thanks for everything you did in in in, in the program so uh, hope to see you soon again my pleasure okay you heard hamad you have to make your decision that product management is for me and nothing's going to stop me to get to that next level to find my dream role and when you've made that decision book up a set up a time with me and my team intentionalproductmanager.com/apply and let's build a step by step plan on how do we get you there and look we might be able to help you we might not either way we'll let you know but the most important thing is to dig deep understand exactly what you want exactly what are the steps to help you get there and then if we can help you exactly how to do that look forward to speaking with you very very soon